your best I-U-G S-I-S Stay in school Cause it's the best That's you, that's me We're both on screen, that's you uh, So You're in East Texas this is What would you like to do with your musical career? The end result is Someday I'm going to make a movie But my musical career is I'm going to do this no matter what, but I have a studio so I can help other people There's make their the albums. So I can have other people make their albums because I know how to help them record stuff and I know how to do this stuff. My music, I'm having fun, but if I find other people that want to do the stuff I want to do, Let's start over. I have more it's fun. It's like in my face like crazy. Here. Let's make this all awesome and stuff. The end result is someday I'm going to make a movie, but my musical career I'm going to do this no matter what, but I have a studio so I can help other people There's make their albums. So I can have other people make their albums because I know how to help them record stuff and I know how to do this stuff. Right now the phone's in front of the microphone so everybody can hear you. So what, what's the story you got? Well, I have discovered a quick way to uh, roll a cigarette without having to have paper. Schulenburg, Texas, for I won first prize at Schulenburg in that tennis tournament. Schulenburg is where I fought this war. Schulenburg, Texas, poison, strychnine. I won many tennis tournaments. I can't remember anything, can't tell if this is truth or dream, but deep down inside I feel the scream, this terrible silence stops with me. Okay. And what it does is it saves you a dollar, uh, you do not have to buy pop or zigzag papers anymore, all you need is your receipt. Exactly. Okay, so how do you bypass the zigzags? All you need to do is keep your receipt and then you roll the you, you put your device in your roller, lower your device up and then stick the receipt in instead of the zigzag, roll it up, smear the washable shoe glue stick on the paper, then roll it on up just like you do if the glue was on the paper. Now that the war is through with me, I'm waking up, I cannot see That there's not much left of me Nothing is real but pain Now hold my breath as I wish for death Oh please God wake me That's cool Is that like smoking glue, though? What you're doing is you're replacing the, the uh, glue on, on the receipt instead of using a zigzag that already has glue on it. Back to the war, it's much too real. It won't stop that I must kill. But can't look forward to repeal. Just look to the time when I will. Yeah, it's just gotta last long enough to uh, it's gotta last long enough for uh, the cigarette to live. Yeah, 
Cool. And they have a company paid So, Michael, um, one of the, the like little TV shows that I was thinking about making was supposed to be called Fun to Play, which is just to show people that it's fun to play music. You just got to do it. And you don't have to know how. You just do it. Like, you didn't know how, but you did it, right? So this could be episode one. You just showed that maybe it's a live person that can be a guest. That means Michael Birkelbach, you're actually on my monitor having a cigarette uh, right in front of your rock garden. And right now I'm going to minimize my picture that has me talking to you so people can see your rock garden. All right? Yeah, I changed up my garden. Yeah. I changed up my garden. I'm going to have my whole new garden up there on the board. I'm sure. So, so I'm just going to describe this one for people who don't know. Because uh, there's just, you know, you've seen it a bunch of times, but he's got a bunch of various rocks that he's got from the road walking around because he's always liked rocks. And he arranges them and rearranges them all around his little porch and uh, along with various other found objects. And sometimes he arranges them by color. And sometimes there might be a, like a dead electronic machine that he's bringing back to life and various little things. And, and it might last a day or two and then he rearranges it in a totally different way. And it's easy it for therapy. That that reminds me. Uh, what, you, I'm gonna. Oh, actually, I can't do it because it's a live recording right now. But I can edit it into my video. Uh, one of the songs that you did. Uh, what was your favorite out of the songs, as far as you remember? Which one did you like the most? The heart doctor. The heart doctor. Was that one of the early ones we did? Okay, the Russian song. Either the heart doctor or the Russian song. Well, I, I never put actual names in there. I just put Burkle Box 7 and just put something. But uh, did you ever think of names for those two songs? Um, not really. You can just pick, you can just, you know, okay, well, when I hear the words, I'll try and actually pay attention. Yeah, Code Defender. Yeah, I already got the. Oh, actually, let me go get the cover out and I'm going to show the people what it looks like. He set me on the moon again, July 1969, the game that I find, that's the rule of the world, this can't be denied, leave the rich people in Texas alone.
had a blast in Texas, but the people that I've been around back here, none of them know what happened in Texas because I've been just too busy trying to do teacher stuff. And uh, I haven't had a chance to really download on anybody what it is we did. So just for fun, why don't you tell everybody how it is that we met and how I ended up at your place? I will. I'll do that. Go ahead. Go ahead and start it. Tell me where. You tell me. Right now. How did we meet? Well, I was at work at the Russia Hospital. I walked down to uh, McDonald's uh, to get something to eat. And I really wanted a cigarette. And I was watching for somebody to give me one or to pay for one, and they didn't have any law. But then I saw a young man about my age, a couple years younger, around, around my age, and I asked him, uh, I said, sir, I have 70 cents. He was putting down a cigarette, or he's about halfway through with his cigarette. I asked him, I said, sir, I have 70 cents. You think I could buy a cigarette? And he said, yes. My cigarette And then I, I think he just kind of hinted towards his company um, by giving me a card. And I just, the ball just got rolling, and I just explained to him that, you know, I like to say, you know, totally not interested in saving it. And then we ran to another. And um, he said he was in town for a while and explained some things to me. And uh, next thing I know, uh, you know, uh, I think we went inside McDonald's, hung out for a few minutes. Um, uh, I believe he gave me a ride. Um, I had to check with my workers at the rest of the hospital, but everything was cool. Um, okay, so. So you were there when I left Texas and abandoned my career. Nobody knows why, other than I just said it didn't work out and it came back. Why didn't it work out? What? Was I looking hard? <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember looking for work and then hanging out at your place after work because it was so damn hot. I was working in a factory for a week until I got laid off because it was a temp job. But yeah, my family begged me to come back when I was asking them for some help uh, to pay a fee to get my credential looked at to teach in Texas. They really needed teachers, but uh, they needed a $150 fee to analyze my credential first. And that I didn't have. When I uh, tried to get my dad to help me out with that because I was pretty sure he would, he played the family card and really just begged me to just get back to California. And, I did. 
But now it's like I'm back in Rust, hanging out with Michael Berkelbach.